้านี่ห้าหนีด้วยเอ้ยก็นอก็เลยโอเคดิสอาดิมิวส์ยูก็ Hello everyone! Hope you're having an amazing day today. I'm gonna be checking a farm out. So I met and reconnect with my old schoolmate. We attended the same secondary school together. It has been very long. We saw each other. He owns a farm, and he wants me to come check his farm out. So say hi and tell us what we're expecting. Well, good morning. My name is Alabangu Olaleko. Mr. Femi has been a childhood friend, let me put it that way, a childhood friend. Oh. And the last time we saw was about 15 years ago. Really been long. a very, very long time. So I'm glad to have him. I'm glad to see him again. And we, 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 are, we are, he's paying a visit to Noah's Ark, Nigeria Limited. I'm the CEO of the company. And it's been a while we've started. We are good to have him anyway. He's coming on the visitation, and we are going to keep you updated on whatever we're going to do there. As time meet the guy in charge, meet Mr. Leko, my man. Tell us about this. You said this place is what? This is an office. Okay. This is a farm house. All right. So we have a place stationed as an office. Okay. We have two other rooms. There happens to be the staff room. There's a public toilet. That's how every other person that comes to the farm. And next to it is a, a construction of store, which is going on right there. And next to it is construction of a pen. Okay. For, for, for the new installed chicks we have chicks. in store. And this is a construction of new uh, turkey. All right. And next to it is where we have the well water. The next to it is another pen for under pig, right? construction for Turkey as for well. For Turkey as well. And next to it is big pen. All right. We have capacity of thirty rooms. Thirty rooms. It can contain at least two hundred animals. Wow. And at the left hand side up there, we have a small cage for the rams, sheep, goats, they are just 15 in numbers. We stopped about 50 of them and we've let gone about 35 of them. So now mm -hmm. we have 15 of them in stock. And over there we have matured turkey that are giving us production at least. We are having uh, two crates and 15 eggs. Two on daily basis and 15 eggs on daily basis and at times due to the hot and ash weather we have low production and some other factors that determine their production to become low but in the big time we are working on increasing the production again and for now we have about 200 beds over there mm -hmm. they are like eight or nine months old so and we are about to start under construction here wow. for new chicks. Like we are going to have a, a, a broiler's breeder pen and another drainage at the edge of that land. So as that now we, we still have a lot of projects. And at the back of this at the back of this farmhouse, there's another pen that happens to be a big pen under construction just your hand or oh. just the hand so when yeah. we are about to go to the inside the farm yes pig grip up we, we have to match on the it waterway is there that we stepped on before we go into the farm okay wow this is big uh how many acres of land do you have here this is an acre of land okay oh, this old place including that place no this old place okay it's an acre of land from okay oh, oh okay yeah. it's an acre of land okay. so it was divided into two like this this happens to be my brother's or this is mine okay so See? this is one acre this is one acre and this. then are ah, you going to have a son born you should have worn something that will cover your body it's from that edge mm -hmm. to that edge 
there like this. Yes. Then back to one corner piece there. Yeah. One and a half mm. Oh, you mean one and a half plus? Yes. Oh, I was thinking one and a half plus. We have over 40 rooms, and each room contains a male and three females. That is a proper ratio. They can still serve, a male can still serve up to 10 females, but to give us a better result, at least 90% percent result, we have a male to three females per room. Those males there are extra males we have. Hmm. By the time all these ones work for a month, we retrieve them out of the place to the sick bale here. Then we serve each room with those reserved males. In, in order for those ones to rest, and in order for these ones to take charge of each female, that gives us a good uh, and a high rate of production, production yeah. and the reason why we have males in, in each room is for the females for the eggs to fat out to hit the proper and a good production we keep any beds like so we have about 20 we have about 30 to 40 males over there and due to the fact that we have 40 rooms we can easily retrieve all the males inside the old room and replace them with the new ones. Mm -hmm. It gets to a stage where males will be bigger than the female, mm -hmm. and they, at the cost of climbing them, yeah. they might be hurting those females. So we have some set of males somewhere else we are breeding in order for us to sell all these males during the Christmas period. So we can now bring in those new males. Those ones are younger than these ones. They are very agile, they are going to be very smart and very productive. So now I think we should go inside and see the process of picking the eggs. It's a multivitamin and mostly amino acid oral solution. This is this is the medication they have inside their water on a daily basis in order to give us proper production and to give them good health. Wow, this is a lot of work. <laughs> this is amazing. Like first time I'm visiting a poultry like this. I know there are bigger ones, but I'm really happy to be here, man. So what are the plan, future plans for this site? Pigree. Yeah, so the one going over there, right, is a pig pen here. Yeah. I'm talking about this water. Moriga. Moriga. The same. The same Disinfectant. Disinfectant. So these are about 300 birds. 300 birds. And top is everything. Yes. Almost three months. Yes. Okay, these are the males you're talking about. Are you in weeks? Yeah. Whoa. These ones are going for Christmas. Then we six of these. Wow! Yes. Look at that one. Is, is that one pregnant? Yes. yes. And five of them are pregnant. Five of them are yeah. pregnant. It's only this. It's only this. It's only this. It's only this. It's not pregnant. It's these are large whites, right? Yes. Boa or something. Yeah. 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 There's no boa. Look at the uh, large one. So these two are pregnant and yes. we have two over there. Mm -hmm. oh, the three. <laughs> wow. This place is so clean. Yeah, this one is pregnant as well. Yeah. Now we're going to see the rams. Hello. So you are you you can talk to this one. Yes. Yeah. So how do you control snakes? Oh, okay. mm, we used to, we used to, we used to uh, administer uh, fumigation okay. with GD. There's one other GD force. Set aside like that. You put around. Snakes will not want to come. Okay. Okay. okay.
so guys you've seen the fan thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share i'm gonna see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye thank you thank you babe i'm not gonna say thank you i'll say bye bye <laughs> bye